Hey, welcome back and in today's video, we're going to be doing social commentary um, specifically on uh, Caden Bales Bales Caden Bales I'm not sure if I pronounced that right but uh, currently that is trending and this has to do greatly with a, uh, a tweet that I made yesterday this tweet went viral around 331 yesterday and um, it is a an angry mother that is videoing her son's um, reaction to bullying and it's very sad and if you didn't see the trigger warning in the beginning of the video this does talk about suicide so brace yourself Up from school Little witnessed boy. a bullying episode rang the principal and i want people to know parents educators teachers this is the effect that Give bullying me a has I'm gonna do a this is what bullying does so can you please educate your children, your families, your friends? Because all it takes is for one more instant and you wonder why kids are killing themselves. Give me a right now. I'll freaking stab myself in the heart. You watch me. Even you don't care a little looking at you. You don't even do anything. Everything's good. And this is the impact bullying has on a nine year old kid that just wants to go to school, get an education, and have fun. But every single freaking day, something happens. Another episode, another bullying, another taunt, another name calling. So is there any advice or support or anything that other parents or, you know, families have done to help raise disability awareness and education within the school so that this doesn't happen? I've got some good advice, but I need more because... This is the effect of bullying. This is what it's doing. And I want people to know how much it is hurting us as a family. I want people to educate their children. The whole anti-bullying shit isn't fucking working. And I've got a son that is suicidal almost every single day. Every time there's a triggering Anything that happens at school or in public, which is almost every time we're in public and we're about to head into a shopping center now. Clearly there was an outpouring of emotion for this child. Uh, many people wanting to do something. I myself, when you watch something like this, you just wanna, uh, you wanna tell the little buddy that everything's okay. Um, you just wanna take the pain away from uh, the kid. But there's some people that, of course, without investigating, without looking into it, that picked up on a rumor and just went with it that this is a scam. They said that Caden was actually uh, an 18 year old actor who was scamming everybody for money. There were people that were saying things like this, this, and this. Many people's reaction was set off by his Instagram and a specific picture that showed the number 18. This is Caden's Instagram and already right off the bat, he's got uh, two uploads here that are calling out fake Twitter accounts. And these fake Twitter accounts are, uh, of course, trying to further escalate that he is scamming people, which is just terrible because once you know the full details of this situation, you can see this kid who, uh, is being bullied constantly, is yet again being bullied, but on a wider scale. And it's just sad. Uh, he's had to set his Instagram. Probably his mother has had to set the Instagram to private because so many people have just went with what they think. And that's the problem with social media is that people do not inform themselves. They kind of just take what they see and, and accept it as truth and uh, put themselves in 
into a box, which is just terrible. Think for yourself. Don't be uh, don't be a, a sheep. You don't want to be a, a sheep because at the end, it's it's just a bad thing. That was a, that was a crap joke. So one thing the rumors did get right was that he is an actor, extra model, and influencer. Um, he's still he's still eight. It says this says eight years old, but he's still a, a young kid, um, just trying to do something, something positive in his life, and people are trying to take that and uh, turn it into something that's not. They think that he's scamming people directly because. Uh, let me show you. Look, here's a fake account doing this, uh, saying. Uh, terrible things using uh, a moment of this child's happiness. Look at the amount of likes that this has. The amount of likes is due to the amount of misinformation about this. Here's another picture. He's flipping a bird here and uh, he's uh, wearing Gucci here. He might be flipping some birds and playing around, but he's nine years old and he's just copying what other people around him are doing. Uh, this. Uh, this is probably something that I was doing at nine years old. I was probably flipping the bird to everybody. I, I was, uh, yeah. I, I could see, I could see me flipping the bird to everybody. Some people do know the truth. Saying also, in case anyone is questioning the whole Caden uh, is eighteen situation, the proof is right here. He is nine year old kid. But believe what you want, I guess. So here's some pictures of evidence. So this picture right here is uh, Garland's. Uh, Garland's it says Garland's eighteenth birthday, uh, showing that he was in fact at someone else's 18th birthday here's a, a picture with dates of him just being 16 days old another picture uh, seven months to seven years old uh, but perhaps the uh, uh, biggest pieces of evidence about this is here's a, a clip uh, in 2015 he was on the uh, morning show and he was four years old he is four years old and this little boy from brisbane is a powerhouse he's inspiring an amazing campaign to raise awareness about dwarfism he's already been through several bouts of surgery with plenty of support from celebrities he's had an outpouring of support people are questioning why his mother even records those types of uh, moments in the first place but there's a very good reasonable explanation i think one of the main reasons that uh people thought this was a scam is because he deleted this picture he started deleting pictures from his uh his instagram which it, it, what bothers me is you can clearly see that whose 18th birthday this is so the people that went to spread uh, this rumor that he was an 18 year old uh scammer knew it they knew full well but they still decided to do this for views and reactions the comment sections of his photos on instagram are filled with just uh the worst types of things that people could say uncle yeah this guy's definitely 18 he is 18 uh how do you know honestly don't doubt he's that age but i just want proof man can you imagine this kid and his mother going just being uh, bombarded with at first support and thinking that they're doing this great thing about uh raising awareness towards bullying and then this huge explosion of just negative energy and just this uh people just literally going back to bullying this is not right so there's a video and uh, a video series and website that documents and follows his life the evidence is there that he is currently nine years old today so people that are out there and they're saying that he's 18 and they're uh, spread the word because this is this is ridiculous and it's cruel it's just it's cruel that's the word this website has the full story about the bu the bullying incident. He wasn't even going to school yesterday until the principal rang and said Brisbane bullets were coming. I went to pick him up and saw him with the kids and the bullets on the basketball court. Me and my daughter and my granddaughter were watching and then while they were lining up to get their uh, singlets signed by players, one of his classmates was patting him on the head and making references to his height, she says. She was patting him on the head like a puppy. My daughter and I looked at each other and we made signals to him to ask if he was all right. And he was like, no. And he's looking at me horrified like, don't make a scene, mom. You could tell he was very uncomfortable, but he was so good at trying to shrug things off. He doesn't want people to know how much it's affecting him. He's so strong and confident, but it, it, but it's times like these when you see him crumble, it just is heartbreaking to watch. It made me feel 
helpless. So it, again, you can go on here and there's multiple uh, threads and this goes through uh, very serious surgeries that he's had to have. But the main point about this is, is there's concrete evidence about his age and uh, knowing that this concrete evidence is out there and it's not hard to find just blows my mind why people on Twitter and the internet in general just they just love the negativity they thrive on it and if you're playing part in that it you need to question you need to question your, yourself I don't even know where I'm going with this but it just feels not right and y'all y'all need to y'all need to wash out your souls with soap and water <laughs> So they done blood tests, x-rays, photographs. Yarika made the doctors test Quaden again. She started to build her own evidence bank to try and discount the diagnosis of dwarfism. I was taking photos of him every single day in the bath, showing my, my godmom, my dad. I'm like, the doctors have got it wrong, eh? Like, look, he's, he looks normal. He's like the rest of our kids. He's available. He's got that big buff head. Like, what are they going on about? It would be almost a year before Yarika would force herself to accept that Quaden was developing differently to other children his age. So my natural coping mechanisms were just to block it out, you know, just ignore it, just pretend it never happened, which is what I did. And that almost killed me because I couldn't keep living that life. People were asking, people were noticing that, that he's different and I just couldn't lie anymore. It took years for Yarika to reconcile with Quaden's diagnosis, but as she did, she realised it was imperative to capture his journey. It goes into talking about how um, the mother wanted to document his journey, uh, how difficult it was for her to um, accept that the doctors what the doctors were diagnosing him with were actually true. There, it, I think it was like, while he was growing up, she didn't accept it. She was saying things like, I, he's completely normal. I don't know what the doctors are talking about. And then finally, as he got older, she had to come to terms with uh, the diagnosis to which she decided to take it head on and start spreading awareness for uh, dwarfism and uh, advocating for really important this really important cause. And uh, that's when she decided she was gonna document um, every aspect of, the, of his journey and I think that's what a lot of people are confused about the context of why uh, she was videoing the, his experience in the first place not realizing that she's she's been documenting his life uh, since uh, his birth so that with that added context and the evidence that you see here uh, I would say case closed on this and some people are still making an issue about the donation that was made to him to go to Disneyland uh, this donation is something that he did not ask for this donation was given to him because of an outpouring of support. And it seems like people are upset because he might not be poor and have a disability. Like there's a difference. If it isn't one thing, it seems to be another one with social media. The main point about this whole thing is to stop bullying. And if you see anybody making fun of uh, Caden, uh, let them know that they're wrong. And they need to, uh, they need to stop. So, uh, that being said, and as interesting as this is, always something more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So, why don't you go ahead and move your creative and your interesting responses to the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I don't know, man. It just feels like social media, just, they love the negativity and it thrives. There's a saying that says a lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is just getting up and putting on its shoes. Um... I like to look at that as negativity versus positivity as well. Uh, I want to thank the patrons. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. I can't believe we are at 63 patrons. I, that's just mind blowing to me that when I started this, that I would have uh, so much, so many people that believed in me um, and that wanted to support me and what we're doing here. So that, I think that's uh, really awesome. Also, I want to thank you guys for going over and following the a Facebook page and helping me meet my goal of 10,000 followers. I really appreciate it. Um, still working on the merch, new merch. Uh, should be out uh, fairly soon, but um, I'll let you know so you can grab that because it's going to be another way that you can show. If you're repping, if you're not repping, you're gagging. Hey, all I got to do is subscribe, notification, turn on, be in the comment section for every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there and the rest of the Rep Swap community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. But a bitch, but I